I, I, I just am real, real careful not to be too judgmental, but at the same time, seeing some people wear really high things in church, I, it, it, it's not even normal to do at a restaurant, right? We wouldn't do it at a restaurant, so why would we do it at a church? Okay, but which restaurant too? If you're going to go out to the beach restaurant, you're going to be wearing, and people, you know, I got church on the beach now, and people wear, I, we had a girl in a bikini there yesterday. It doesn't bother me at all, because that is the appropriate dress for being on the beach. And she was running back and forth going swimming, so I just simply don't know. I, it's not something that you can point your finger at somebody and say, you were entirely wrong on this, when in fact maybe they're not, maybe you are. You know, uh, whatever. So I uh, 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 hate hate to beat that one too much, but I don't want to do anything that's going to shut somebody out. And we are in a tourist area. Yeah, man. And so even though we're way east, you know, we don't want to do anything that keep people from coming in here. We want people to hear about Jesus. I don't mind shorts. Now bathing suits, yeah, that's yeah. a little. Yeah. yeah. But out at Turtle Beach yeah. last yeah. night. It is, and that's the reason why I'm out there, and that's what I'm saying. The place, the context, you know, if you're going to a wedding in this church, you're going to want to wear better clothes than if you're going to a, you know. Just got to be careful with the clothes thing. We got to be careful with, like you said, how much money are you giving, or, you know, all those kind of things that, uh, huh. all right, let's see if we can find a logical place to stop, because we've got about two minutes. Where were we? Uh, purify your garments, and then three? We'll read three and four and we'll be done because five is a, uh, a chapter. Yeah. yeah. Then come, let us go up to Bethel where I will build an altar to God who answered me in the day of my distress and who has been with me wherever I have gone. So they gave Jacob all the foreign gods they had and the rings in their ears and Jacob buried them under the oak at Shechem. Okay, the rings in their ears, that was obviously... You don't need to have a commentary to figure that one out. It's obviously a pagan symbol of something. They had earrings that were a pagan symbol of something. Because if not, earrings are mentioned elsewhere in the Bible. Okay, no problem. But whatever these earrings were, they were something that were associated with the foreign gods. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I've never read a commentary on that, and I don't think there's any need to. It's in the same paragraph. It's under the same context. And so they were wearing those earrings for a particular purpose rather than for adornment. Good luck, okay. Yeah, good luck or, you know, whatever. So, that, exactly. So, uh, uh, that's where we're at. And uh, we're in five, whatever chapter we were in, and I'll let somebody else decide where we were. And we're not going to be here next week on the 4th of July. So, and if anybody wants any, they're really nice um, things. A, a friend of mine uh, brought them to me yesterday and said, would you find a good home for all of these? Some of them are stuffed pillows, and some of them are stuffed animals. They're really nice. Or if you know somebody that has children that wants them, go rifle through them and take them out because they, they were nice. So somebody close this in pl prayer, please. Father, we just thank you for your loving kindness, which is better than life. Uh -huh. And we thank you for your grace and your mercy, Lord God, that has called and saved each one of us. Father, we thank you for your word. Mm. We thank you for Charlie, that he gives um, so much of himself to these Bible studies, Lord God, um, when we know that, you're mo that you are the motivation. We thank you for that, Father, and we pray that these... Bible studies and our time spent will make a change in our lives, that it, it won't be just um, like water off a duck's back, we'll mm. that your word will penetrate every one of our lives and every one of our hearts and make us into those godly creation that you made us to be. Father, we ask you to bless Charlie and his family, Lord God, and bless each family uh, represented here today. Lord, um, this uses we pray. Use us for your glory. And mm -hmm. We pray for our um, pastor, Lord, that you would send just the right man at just the right time, Lord God, to come and lead this flock in the direction you would have us go. Father, we're trusting that you will, that you'll give real wisdom to the committee and that they'll know that they know when they come to the right person. Lord God, we know you will not leave us wondering and we thank you for your faithfulness even when we're not faithful. We thank you for your loving kindness again, Father, and we ask all these things in your name and for your sake. Amen. Amen.